Hello everybody. In this tutorial, I will draw an impossible shape in Adobe Illustrator CC 2022, and I'll add a little movement to it via Adobe After Effects CC 2022. Bring a cup of tea or coffee and follow me to the end of the video. Let's draw a triangle. Press the down button several times until a triangle is formed. Perfect. I will turn the shape into a stroke and choose the stroke value of 62 bits. From object choose expand. Select fill and stroke and then OK. Double this shape, drag and press Alt, then we double again. We now have three equal triangles. Select all, and from Pathfinder, choose the horizontal distribute center. We pull the middle triangle up. We connect the three corners of the resulting shape, taking into account that the lines are completely closed. From the Shape Builder tool, we make the impossible shape as follows. We should delete the angles, as they are unnecessary in the design. This is done by pressing the Alt button on the keyboard. Now it is clear to us. We remove the stroke from each of the three shapes. Add gradients. This is optional, depending on your preference and the use of the form. We coordinate the gradients for each shape separately, focusing on the dark color centered on the corners. This gives the impression of shadows, and here I will not focus on aesthetics. Because the goal of the video is to technic, you have the time and flair to adjust the colors as you like. We have this amazing impossible shape. We are now coloring each shape with solid color. And now, let's go to After Effects. We are back. Here we are in Adobe After Effects, CC 2022. New composition. From here we click the right mouse button. Then new solid and we choose white, for example. I will lock and hide the layer. Now back to Illustrator. From the previous project, we copy one of the shapes and let it be this way. And in After Effects, we choose the pen tool and click anywhere. Then press Ctrl plus letter V. The color will not be the same. But don't worry, we'll adjust the color again. From the path, I will move the path. Follow the steps with me. I will choose this frame, which is the end of the movement, and click New Frame. From Pen Tool, we choose Convert Vertex Tool. And here we need focus, accuracy, and patience. Now it's almost done, and don't worry about the faint line remaining. We will simply solve the problem. We define the frames. Then press F9 on the keyboard. So let's choose Easy Ease. And here is the graph editor. I will make the movement more attractive. 
It's great, it's the magic of Adobe programs. And now we will repeat the same steps. To get the rest of the shapes, press Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. We do a rotating for the second shape. 120 degrees to get this position. We are now setting the position in the correct position. And to set the shape correctly, use both the left and right buttons on the keyboard. Now we repeat the same steps to form the third shape. Have you not yet clicked the like button? Perfect. Here we have now the impossible shape. And it moves nicely. Now we will change the colors. I will copy the color code from the Illustrator file. And I'm copying it here in After Effects. These things may be simple and known to you. And every designer has his own way. Now we will repeat the three shapes again. And that is to select all, by pressing the control button, and the letter D on the keyboard. Then we drag the shapes up. We are now changing the colors for the new shapes, like we did last time. We drag the top three shapes to the right a little. This is to get a sequential movement. We repeat the previous movements again.
We select all shapes. We press the letter U on the keyboard, to show the frequencies. Now I'm going to draw in format, to have a beautiful sequence of movement. Very nice. Let's select all layers, and made it into a pre-composition. Now I will address the problem of the light line appearing at the beginning. Remember when I first talked about it? Press T on the keyboard, and we set the value of opacity to 0. Then, at this frame, the opacity value is reset to 100. Still showing up. I'm going to move the frame a little to the right. That's good, the line has disappeared. Now I'm going to add a nice animation. If you are following until now, it means you got some benefit. So please click like, and subscribe to my channel, and activate the bell button, to receive more tutorials. For any questions or inquiries, do not hesitate to drop your question in the comments, and I will answer all questions. And if you don't have a question, drop me a supportive motivational phrase, thank you. See you soon in a new tutorial.